too. This is cool. Hi. <laughs> I'm nervous as hell right now. Hi, I'm Kira Green, and my love print is A W E G, A W E G. I feel like if someone's a skater, they're just very carefree. You know, they can still have insane passions, but they really know how to like have a good time and just vibe. There we go. Yay! Hi, I'm Kira Green. I'm 25 years old, and I'm really excited to meet all of you guys and get to know you. Hi, I'm Isaac. My fun fact is. I flew a plane when I was 10 years old. What kind of plane? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Hi, I'm Madeline. I'm a fashion designer and actress. Uh, and my fun fact is I skate professionally in movies. Hi, my name is Avalon. I'm 28 years old. Uh, I'm a songwriter. Um, I was on American Idol. I used to be an artist for a long time, but I feel like I kind of grew out of it. I want to be like sing something, but I hate when people okay, do that to me. Let me write you I, was, oh, 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 I was on America's Got Talent, so I know like the whole oh, behind the go. scenes. I write R&B, so what's the vibe? Let's, okay, maybe let's, let's go write something. Let's go. All right, good. <laughs> I'm Mia. I'm 22. I host poker tournaments. My fun fact is I can speak three languages. Wow, oh, what languages? Um, Mandarin, Chinese, and Taiwanese are the other two. Hi, I'm Athena. I'm 24. I have four fur babies. They're all pity mixes and rescues. Um, I'm the dear, and I work here as an audio engineer and songwriter. And then uh, next week, I start my career as a high school teacher. Oh, and then, I love that. Yeah. And then um, my fun fact. I was on Barney when I was three. <laughs> I'm Forrest, I'm 27. A fun fact about me, I guess it also happened when I was three years old. I uh, drove my grandma's car through the house. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> through, your, but, through your family's house, you drove your yeah, car like at three room, years old. Kitchen, but it worked out because my grandma got a brand new, like remodeled. Hi, I'm Charisma. Um, I work a lot. Yeah. Hey, the hustle is real. I'm Nut. I'm 24. I'm a musician and professional bag getter. And, uh, <laughs> can, can you elaborate on uh, professional <laughs> bag getter? Uh, no, I don't think I can. Oh, that's fair. That's fine. It's just, you know, that's just it. Okay. Uh, you auditioned for, you were on American Idol? Um, America's Got Talent. Yeah. I was in a band with my siblings. I also auditioned for that, but they did not accept me. <laughs> yeah. It was in high school. I used to do stand up. Oh. Yeah. Do you have a joke? No. Okay. <laughs> My name's Elijah, I'm 26. I'm a r irrational fear of kangaroos. Kangaroos? Oh. They're like this big and they're like a rat. No, they're scary. Have you seen those videos where they like they they punch, punch people, people out? <laughs> Hi, my name is Marcy. Fun fact about me, I became famous uh, by eating dog food. Dog food? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <it's awesome. laughs> Do you still eat dog food? Oh. <laughs> Deal breaker? <laughs> no. I have to think about that. <laughs> I want to be real with you. <laughs> it's kind of deep, but can you say something you went through that was like very character building that maybe was hard or good, but like made you more of who you are today? That is really deep. I took edibles once, got really, really, really high, and found my meaning of life after a mental breakdown that I had. Hey, sometimes you have to be down to go up. Exactly. So I feel you. I grew up in England, so that oh. definitely shaped my perspective and flexibility to try new things and meet new people. Um, last month was my last month of chemo. I actually got brain cancer in the past few years, and I'm, I'm in the clear, so I'm so happy for I'm chilling. you. Um, Can I give you a hug? Mm -hmm. Thank you for doing that. I'm, I'm, I'm so, so happy. happy. You're okay. You're absolutely, yeah. Um, Losing my aunt to cancer, actually just because I was never really able to communicate with her or like get to know her really and it kind of spurred something in me where I just wanted to like become fluent so I could talk to all my family members. I have an autistic brother and he's nonverbal. So growing up, I actually was able to distinguish what he meant and in a way serve as a translator mm -hmm. to my parents. Um, and that kind of influenced me to want to go into law because I'm really, I'm really passionate about sustainability. Mm -hmm. So I kind of want to be that voice for those that don't have one, such as like animals or indigenous tribes, things like that. Wow, I love all of that. Yeah. Uh, when I was in high school, I dealt with like bouts of homelessness. I feel like this taught me a lot about like resiliency. Mm -hmm. I was trying to do both, like a bunch of stuff, student government, play sports, like yeah. kind of keep a normal life and like have friends without like letting my like living situation kind of interfere with it. Mm -hmm. And um, it kind of just taught me a lot about life. I dropped my white scholarship 
for college to come back to LA okay. for another person. Wow. Yeah. Um, it definitely taught me, you know, you gotta do things to, to benefit yourself. I was kicked out as soon as I turned 18, was starting cosmetology school in a week and was bouncing around house to house. So that kind of gave me my drive to work so much, save up and keep it going, like keep the momentum. You gotta keep it pushing, yeah. When I started high school, I was like four foot 11 and I grew like eight inches in a year. That sounds painful. It was crazy. <laughs> that sounds very painful. It was like the movie Big. <laughs> <laughs> you really are a comedian. I lost my hard drives. Uh, I can, since I make music, that's like a big deal. Oh, I had to like push forward and trust that the new ideas I had in my head were as good as the old ones I had and just like that's keep really going. Hard. What that's can you hard. do? I'm from Venezuela and when I came here, I was four, I was like homeless for a month. It was a lot. A moment. And for me, I mean, I always think about that era. It's like, you know, that pushed me every time to continue. Thank you for sharing, guys. Deep as f. <laughs> I gotta go with Homeboy Nut. You are the first. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're so funny. I, I think, think we would be too. like homies. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you for coming. Jesus. <laughs> Marcy. I'm sorry, I couldn't do the dog food thing. I'm sorry. It sounds like I'm just going from that side, but I'm sorry, Elijah. Happy to be here. No, thank you for coming. Oh, yeah, I like that. There you go. Beautiful as hell, but charisma. You're just so quiet and sweet, oh, but. I'm like nervous as I know I am too, I feel I am. Thank you. <laughs> Forest. Oh. I love your name, you're so oh, sweet. Girl. Knuckle touch. There we go, thank you. Mia. Oh. <laughs> you're dope. I you. Madeline. I love your hair though. Thank you. you got it, you got it. Those are dope she shoes though. We already met, yes, so I feel like I shaking your hand like so long. How are you? How are you? <laughs> I love your hat and like your whole fit. Oh my so god, cute. you too. You look Thank so you. cute. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm, I'm doing. How are you doing? I'm doing. This was nerve wracking. <laughs> I know. I feel like you're very, very nervous, but I'm kind of just like, what's no, up? I, I, like, I like a calm person too or a shy person. Oh, so if I'm like a little anxiety ridden, is that like a. a I mean, are we all thing? a little anxiety ridden? How tall are you? I'm 5'9. Okay. Yeah. Although I always wanted to be shorter. Why? I don't know, like in high school and stuff, like I was always the tallest like person and taller than like most of the guys as well, which is like fine for me sometimes. Did you hoop, but though? No, so I was not athletic. Uh, well, I went to like dance classes and stuff. Dance is athletic? Yeah, so I take that back. Okay. But I was never like the sporty type. I love your jewelry. Thank so. you so much. I love yours. I also thank you. love your tattoos. Oh, thank you. Do it's, you have any? Yeah, I mean, just like a few. I'm just getting into it. Like I got my first one like this year and then I have like a skull. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> what do your tattoos mean to you? I have like little things and that's just gonna kind of slow down and like appreciate the little things yeah. in life. Like I feel like we feel like so, like everything is surrounding us in the world of like this. And I'm like, yeah. no, it's actually massive and mm -hmm. we're the little ones. Exactly. What are you so passionate about? My career, 100%, yeah. but mostly my family and just like helping out yeah. everyone around me. Like I my family almost lost our home and because I was like working and stuff, yeah. I was able to make that not happen. That's So sick. that's power. I mean like Pisces are Pisces, you know? Pisces, we're emotional, we cry. We are. Like, whether it's a good or a bad cry, I'm like crying almost every other day. Same. <laughs> Honestly, but it's but good it's to a... release that, exactly. you know? Exactly. You need it. Are you into like, like are you in therapy and like journal? When I wake up, I journal three things I'm grateful for and okay. then three things I want to accomplish in the week. Like into manifesting too and all this Me too. Stuff. I feel like I manifested this right now, to be honest. Yeah? Yeah, it's like, like a time. I want to be here and <laughs> yeah. then this happens. That's so. tough, but I believe in stuff like that. What do you do for fun? Um, I joined a adult basketball league this year, so I'm okay. officially, officially old man now. Why does that make you an old man? Because <laughs> I feel like that's something you do when you hit like 30. Like oh. when you have kids and stuff, like, oh, kids, look at my my rec league basketball trophy. My favorite thing to do is like going to the ocean and just like sitting and remembering that there are gallons and gallons and gallons, an insane amount of nothing but water. But like, 
you know, algae and stuff under there that algae. like just has <laughs> nothing to do yeah. with anything that I'm anxious about yeah. in that week or month or whatever. I don't, I'm not really like an ocean or beachy person. What's your love life like? In all honesty, my last relationship, which I, I broke it off with them, um, I felt like I just like needed a companion all the time. Yeah. I and mean, I felt like I was wasting that person's time. Mm. So I was kind of just like, hey, let's end this. And um, I feel like I'm, I'm learning to like be myself again after like all the BS. I was in a six year relationship, but it was on and off. Mm. He was 11 years older than me. Oh. And I feel like. How old are you? I am 24. Okay. So. Yeah, he, I feel like I was taken <laughs> advantage of in a sense, and I also mm. was like coming in really naive. It was my first yeah. serious relationship. I learned that like boundaries are important, and it's also important to listen to my own intuition yeah. and put my needs first as well. I feel like I people please a lot, so I I'm trying that. to get out of that. I feel like I'm literally on that same journey of like trying to not put like other people, you know, like yeah. their needs constantly where you just like lose yourself because that like happened in my last situation and I was just like, I can't do this to myself again. Me and my mom are like super locked in. I think she's the best person in the world. I always need people to know like I am like so close with my family, like close, close. So they that. have to be like cool with that. I feel like a lot of people date and they're like, well, if my family doesn't like you, it's not a big deal. But to me, it's like the hugest deal. Yeah. Yeah. I think situation. my parents would vibe with you. It's a vibe? Yeah. You're, let's go. Cool. Should we like get in a studio, all of us together? Oh, like, yeah. Just, you know? just family, your <laughs> family, family. family. I'll like write it. You can like get on the mic yes. and like cut it. Let's go. Why not? But it was so nice to meet you. Bye. Bye. Nice you. to talk to you. Peace. Peace. Sorry, I feel like we're vibing so well. <laughs> same, same. Okay. Bye. Bye. So nice it's meeting you. Yeah. Your chats are so cute. Oh, too. thank you. I think yours too. Oh, my God. <laughs> So I chose this person because they were super quick to just be themselves, be super open. And right off the bat, I feel like they were like making that eye contact and very much so like calmed me when I was feeling like anxious. And that's something that I look for in a partner. So the person that I'm choosing is... Is... Avalon. Oh, I'm like, will you accept this rose? <laughs> I just want to vibe. I absolutely accept, it's more than one rose. Yeah, thank you. Sorry, you guys. It's, you know, you know what it is out here. You know what I'm saying? It's a vibe. Do you want to like learn how to shred? If you don't let me fall. Are you ready? I'm, I'm just going to put it down. As ready no as stress, no stress. <laughs> Slight work. Okay. All right, all you have to do is just stand on it. Like Should I like hold first? it straight for you? Can I hold your hand? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Of course. What are you saying? Yeah. We're dating now. What are you saying? Oh my god, this okay. is quick. <laughs> okay, ready? We're okay. gonna slide out. Yes, okay. I feel like you're, me? you're like I'm stressing. No, just let it slide. Okay. Hold on tight. Oh, yeah. you Hold on tight. Me. I'm not. You're you so good. Me. You're good. You're good. Okay. We. Hey. She's so hot. Hey. Hey.